What's up, YouTube? It's your boy VIP back with a quick little update. Um, I decided to change my aquascape. I did a little, did a little bit of a water change, like a 15 gallon water change, and uh, I decided, hey, let's change up the aquascape. I was getting sick of the old one, and uh, just wanted to see your guys' opinions on what you think. I tried to create more like a um, a cliff sort of idea in the back with all the rock stacked up high so um let's take a look at it real quick I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do with these uh, pieces of coral on, this, on the uh, on the sand bed but I took the rocks out from over here I took like two three rocks out from over here and I kinda moved them to the top moved around some of the top rocks and I started to uh, I wanted to get it a little higher the rock structure because I'm gonna start behind some SPS and I want to keep them more towards the top of the tank so as I get some more SPS I'll start moving around these other pieces of coral and uh, see where they fit in but um, what I was thinking about doing was taking this piece of rock right here and maybe putting it right there take out that branch of uh, zoanthids and maybe get it a little bit of higher in the back get it a little more open in the front I don't know. What do you guys think? Think it would look better like that? Give me your opinions. You know? I was thinking maybe just to get a little more open space for the fish to swim and just to get a higher structure in the back so I could put some SPS. But I mean, it does still look nice, I feel like, over here. So, I don't know. I was thinking about moving it to the top. Maybe not. Let me know what you guys think. And, um,. I don't know if I want to keep these corals on the sand bed or I want to stick them in the, on the rocks. I stuck this little piece I fragged off the main piece of hammer on the side of a rock so it kind of looks like it's hanging off the side which is pretty cool. Gives the illusion that it's just hanging. Uh, move the orange rainbow A can. Put that guy over here. You can't really see the orange under the actinics but move that around put those zoanthids up there I've been trying to bring back to life a little hole in there for the uh, fish to sleep in whoever chooses I'm pretty sure the, uh, the hippo tank likes to sleep in there so there's the harlequin tusk he's doing good doing great actually been stalking my snails a little here and there, my crabs, but hasn't really just taken a nice bite yet. Just uh, nipping. He's been leaving the uh, shrimps alone, which I'm so happy about. Cause uh, I mean, if worse comes to worse, I'll take a few dead crabs just to have this fish in my tank. I really like him that much. But um, is the flame in the back? I moved the rocks around, I'm still yet to find the blue Linkia star. Can't find where the hell he went. Hope he's alright, I really like the starfish, man. I really like him. I was thinking about getting one blue and one red. Add some color to the tank, but I mean, if this blue guy decides to die on me, I'm, I don't know about it. I feel like they're pretty, pretty sensitive. <laughs> Even though my water parameters are great and everything's going good, everything's stable, I mean, stuff happens, you know, so, as of now, I'm hoping he comes out within the next few days, if not, I'm going to have to go by the assumption that he's going to be MIA, a lot of stuff goes MIA here, in these reef tanks, there's so many little critters that something happens to die behind the rock, they munch on and you don't even end up finding it, even if you move all the rocks. Maybe a little skeletal remains, but there's plenty of times where I've lost fish and still looking for them to this day, you know? So I guess they just become part of the ecosystem. I got to be careful. I don't want my nitrates or my phosphates to spike, so I got to keep an eye out for that. But um, I got a pretty decent bio load, especially with the pellets going. It's been keeping everything at perfect level so bio pellets are a plus fish are in the tank 
day two of the new fish, the wrasse, the Melanaris wrasse is uh, under the gravel, sleeping, catching some Z's. You know how them wrasses do. The husk, the harlequin tusk fish is actually considered a wrasse too, but I don't know why. But uh, he's not the type of wrasse that is uh, your average type wrasse. He does not go under the sand bed. He sleeps around the rock structures and uh, if there's any minimal light on he's always swimming around I've yet to see him just chill out and just lay back in the cut somewhere for a few hours he's been out swimming since I got the thing so I guess that's a good sign but uh, yeah let me know what you guys think about the new aquascape tried to keep Less rocks on the gravel, more kind of stuck in the back to create a cliff, like I said. A ridge, whatever, I don't know what the hell it is, but I think it looks pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. Boy VIP, signing out. Peace.